Hi, I'm Brendan Henry, the world's leading expert in peptide science. Recently, somebody asked me, Brendan, how is it that you're the world's leading expert in peptide science? I hate self-proclaimed experts. Well, yeah, me too. It is frustrating when people call themselves experts without having much proof to back it up. So, I didn't always refer to myself as the expert here. Let me tell you the story of how this came about. So, many of you know, I used to work for Philips. Philips is one of the largest medical companies in the world, and I was designing Trilogy model ventilators, which are now used in hospitals all across the world. But I quit working at Philips, and I started my own company, designing my own electronics. And one of the electronics I was working on designing was a laptop based on the RISC-V CPU architecture, but with a dedicated GPU. And this laptop was going to be modular, too. It would have been the first laptop in the world based on this architecture. And so I was documenting the development process of this laptop because everybody told me that it was impossible for a single person to design this on their own. So I actually had a video series where I was showing people how I was designing this laptop. I wanted to prove them wrong because I am capable of designing that. But then COVID hit and with it came the disruptions to the supply chains. I was forced to terminate the project. And it was quite depressing and uh, disappointing when I saw the first RISC-V laptop come out in the year 2022, which was about a year after my project came to termination. And so during this time, I was facing a bit of depression, a little bit of defeat. I wasn't feeling the best. So I came across this group and it had 1,500 researchers in it. It was on Discord. And these guys were researching novel compounds to improve motivation and cognition. And actually, some of the most effective compounds weren't even the novel ones, which is crazy, but uh, that's how it goes. And that's the case with peptides, too, as you'll find out here shortly. But there was one novel nootropic compound that the owner of the server wanted to get produced, and I made a significant investment into it with my own money. I invested $13,800 because, you know, I wanted to be on the cutting edge. I'm not somebody who settles for mediocrity. I've always tried to push the boundaries here, and that's what I did. I invested the money, and he made the product, and it turned out to be decent. But you know what? Another thing I came across around that same time was Professor Vladimir Kovinson and his research on peptides. And I wanted to convince this server and all these researchers about the power of these peptides. But the thing is, every time I brought up these peptides, they didn't seem to take them seriously. They just talked about other things. I couldn't really get anybody involved in talking about these peptides. And it's because almost nobody heard about these peptides before. And so, you know, I could talk about them, but they haven't seen all the research. Most of the research is in Russian. And so I wanted to really prove peptides to these people and, and sell them on peptides because they were just had such extraordinary power that it'd be a shame if they didn't know about peptides. And I was very passionate about this. And you know what? I had the time to do it. So I started researching 15 hours a day, digging through all of the Russian literature. I even found Russian studies which never made it into Russian medical journals, but were just published in uh, quarterly magazine releases. And I got a Russian guide to help me translate all these Russian studies into English because my Russian isn't very good. And so I dug through all this information for almost a year straight, 15 hours a day, literally researching and translating all these Russian studies. And I wrote the most cited article on Pinealon ever published online. And I posted it on Reddit. It's got something like 76 upvotes and 36 comments, I believe. And ever since I posted that, people started taking my peptide discussion seriously. I started getting messages with one person referring to me as the world's leading expert in peptide science. And so that's when I started thinking, you know, maybe I should start calling myself that. But it wasn't really until I built this peptide course, which covers all of the Covenson's peptides, all 40 of them, in great detail, plus an additional 26 beyond that. And then I realized this is the first course on the planet that covers all of the Covenson's peptides. I've looked everywhere online and nobody's covering all of the Covenson's peptides, let alone 26 more peptides. And so, this course I'm very proud of. It's backed by over 300 scientific references, and I put a lot of work into this course. It's based on years of work and Russian research that was translated with my own personal Russian guide. So, yeah, I have no problem calling myself the world's leading expert in peptide science after that. I'll gladly own that name because I've done more than seemingly everybody else out there. And you know what? Right now, this peptide course is actually on sale. 
you can get it for $150 off, but the sale ends tonight. And uh, you know what? Let me show you this course. I'm going to head over to my computer. One minute. All right, guys, I'm at peptides.unyieldingvigor.com. Feel free to head over there and follow along. But I currently have a sale going on on Peptide Mastery. And I don't always do this, but occasionally I do. And if you happen to miss this one or you want to be notified of the next one, just go to unyieldingvigor.com and either sign up for a Peptide Mastery free edition, Toxic Testosterone, which is also free, or just subscribe to my blog. And you'll be opted into my email list, and I'll be able to send you emails of updates and keep you updated on what's going on here at Unyielding Vigor. So I just want to show you a few things on this sales page because it is so cool. First off, mainstream medicine in America is 40 years behind, and almost everyone on social media is spreading barely researched, dangerously incorrect, bullshit information. This is totally true, and if you've gotten Peptide Mastery Free Edition, you'll actually see the proof of this. But let me just show you because I actually have it presented on this uh, sales page here. So check this out. In 2021, a group of researchers in Germany broke new ground when they showed the distribution of dipeptides in different organs, suggesting their targeted effects on specific tissues. Their concluding statement, as dipeptides appear to have a function beyond that of a pure amino acid source, the administration of dipeptides may offer new therapeutic options. What they and almost everyone else in the West didn't realize is that these cutting edge discoveries had already been made almost 50 years ago in Russia. Isn't that so crazy, guys? And you know what? I've recently been emailing people about peptides because I'm just so passionate about sharing this information about peptides, and I'd actually like to talk to some people more about peptides. And after sending 10 emails to Dr. Hyman, first of all, he never replied to me, but he did make his own video. And in his own words, he said, it's quite amazing that we've gone this long in medicine without really taking a hard look at peptides. Um, yeah? Welcome to the party, Doc. We've only been shouting this from the rooftop for years. It's crazy how health gurus like Dr. Hyman are just now catching on. And honestly, guys, if Spotify hadn't banned us, if Brian Johnson, the longevity expert, hadn't banned us from his channel, and if some of these guys like Dr. Hyman would actually answer us and like talk to us so we could get on his show and start talking about these peptides, instead of just dragging other people on there who only end up talking about like the same two to four peptides, which everybody on the internet talks about. Like, I'm trying to talk about 66 peptides here, not four. So I have over 300 scientific references included in this course, and these are provided in the description sections in the relevant module, and also as some PDFs, which are attached to the module. And these are usually Russian PDFs, which have been translated into English by me and attached. Now, these are some of the sources I use for my information, guys, and if you're a researcher, you probably aren't even familiar with all these, but I'll just go over them real quick. This one right here is Lesgaf Sports University, and that's the largest sports university in St. Petersburg, Russia. They put out some great studies. This is NIH, which most people are probably familiar with. This cyborg-looking thing here is actually my favorite Russian source for studies, and I'm actually not going to reveal the name, but you'll probably figure it out if you go through the course because some of the links will take you to a page associated with this logo you'll see on it. And this is St. Petersburg Institute of Bioregulation and Gerontology. This is, of course, where Professor Vladimir Kovinson was director, and most people are familiar with NCBI and PubMed. But there's also, I believe, a couple studies in the course which are from specific magazine releases in Russia. So you could also check that out. And I have a great video here on how peptides are changing humanity, and that's the same video I have posted to my YouTube channel below. You can feel free to check it out. And just check out some of these reviews I've been getting here. I really appreciate this one from Elizabeth Mang, who's director at ReadyMed, which is a health clinic. She says, I've seen Brennan dissect complex pharmacological mechanisms and explain them in a way that makes sense to both medical professionals and lay people alike. He's able to predict outcomes and potential applications that others simply don't see. He's not afraid to challenge conventional wisdom when the science doesn't support it. In a field often clouded by hype and misinformation, Brennan's dedication to truth is refreshing and invaluable. As the director of ReadyMed, I've worked with countless physicians, hormone specialists, and pharmacists over the years. But I can say without hesitation that Brennan Henry's knowledge of peptides, pharmacology, and human biology is truly in a league of its own. Thank you, Elizabeth Mang. So if you want to get peptide mastery, you could use code PM150, and it will take some money off for you. That is, if you catch it during the sale. If it's not during the sale, no worries. You can still purchase the course. It's the only course on the internet which covers all 40 of the Covenson's peptides, 
plus 26 more, plus includes all these bonuses, which you'll see further down on the page if you check that out. So, this has been Bernard Henry, the world's leading expert in peptide science, bringing you another video sharing with you why I refer to myself as the leading expert in peptide science.